What's going on everyone? I'm still doing this BR. The previous game I was able to walk away with the W and the, the guy was playing left in like the top of the fourth, fifth, I think it was the top of the fifth. He left, it was a tie game and he decided to leave for some reason but he was doing trippy stuff in that game so I didn't really care. Walked away with the W. Didn't get that much going offensively either other than the uh, Carlos Beltran home run. The game tying home run in the, I think it was the top of the fourth that happened. So yeah, other, other than that, not much happened offensively for the squad. And I did a, I, yeah, I did such a miserable job pitching in the previous game too. I needed to do a much better job of that in this game. And I, oh, I was almost able to start it off pretty decent in this game offensively. Coco Crisp, uh, the flashback Coco Crisp was almost able to find the right field line, but that was just foul. And he's just eventually grounding out to first base. So Beltron gets on. So, man, this James Loney is very good, if you ask me. I was talking about this card a little bit in the first game. Very good uh, hitting stats versus righties, and just in general, I'm pretty sure. But doesn't have the best fielding stats, but that doesn't even matter. But I'm just hey, I'm just hitting a weak fly ball right there, right back to, I think that was the third baseman. So, yeah, man, I'm taking it off. This guy wasn't going to the slide step, so Beltron, with the half-decent speed, is able to make it into second base. So now I got... Somebody in scoring position for the rookie Maurer. I was sitting on something high in the strike zone. And I'm just getting under that one, but it was a half-decent swing. So, 0-2 count. This guy's got me right where he wants me, to be honest. And somehow, some way, I'm finding the grass in left field, man. That was a pretty bad swing. But I'm still able to poke one out there in left field and get the run. I was sending Beltron. Didn't even care who the hell was out there in left field. I would have been sending him regardless. So, Nick Swisher is up next. And he's able to hit that one pretty decent in the left field. But look at that grab. He makes the grab, prevents any more runs being scored. So I'm only getting the one run. But that may be all I need when you got somebody like Billy Wagner in the pen who is warming up at this very moment. And he did, he did have a righty coming to the plate for his second batter. So I didn't want to go to Billy Wagner right away. So I'm able to get two outs pretty quick. I mean, this guy was, he was coming up swinging at everything pretty much. So Robinson Cano was up next. Everybody will be in bunt defense this game. I'm going to do everything I can to prevent all the weird shit from happening. So everybody is in bunt defense. So yeah, this guy goes down very quickly in the first inning. So as I come back out in the top of the second, Starlin Castro, this flashback Castro is up. He was smelling the homer right there. Gets another run on the board. Gets the solo shot. So it is now 2-0. That Starlin Castro was actually pretty decent for a silver if you ask me. So yeah, I'm going up 2-0. That may be more than I possibly need in this game. Since I did have a couple other uh, good relievers in this game too. I forget. I had Koji Uihara, which is a half-decent ready, I guess. Not going to blow anybody away with the heater. But he does have very good break and a good splitter and stuff like that. I forget who else I had. I had another lefty in the pen too. He was only a silver, but he was he had like high 90s velocity and high 90s break too. So yeah, he was a half decent lefty. So if I needed to put somebody uh, in the game late against some lefties, he would be coming in for sure. Because yeah, I mean, actually, what am I even saying? Billy Wagner was already in. But I mean, I guess if I was going to put a pinch hitter in, Billy Wagner would have came out, obviously. So then I would have had to have gone to another lefty. So then, yeah, that would have been the go-to guy in the pen for that scenario. But yeah, Billy Wagner was actually able to make some solid contact right there. But that was just a fly ball. I was trying to push that one over the wall, but that wasn't even close. So now in the bottom of the second, he did have a couple lefties coming to the plate in this inning, which was good. But he's able to get a 3-0 count. This guy must have been looking for the walk because he wasn't swinging at anything to begin this inning. But with a 3-1 count, that is, that's bad. That is my bad, man. That is a heater right down Broadway pretty much. And he's able to get the double to the left center gap. Almost made the, almost made the diving play in left center too right there. So if that was made, there would have been two very good grabs in the field in this game so far. But then, I'm not really, I don't know if that was the flashback Puig or not. But Yasiel Puig is up next. And nobody is down. He just needs to send one over the wall. This is a tie game. He just needs to get a base hit. And this will be a one-run game. But he's going down looking. So Billy Wagner gets the first K of this inning. So now with one down, trying to feed this guy some high fastballs because he was on a couple off-speed pitches. So I didn't want to just feed this guy a changeup right down the center of the plate. That would have that would have been hit to the moon probably. But yeah, I'm able to get a couple of high fastballs past this guy, so now I got a 2-2 two -two count. This guy needs to 
This guy needs to be sat down, and he is sat down. So Billy Wagner is doing his job. Even in previous BRs, when I was able to get good relievers and good closers and stuff, they came into games, and some of them were getting they were getting shattered to pieces, dude. Like I had the who did I have the flashback Jonathan Broxton, I'm pretty sure a couple of times. And some people I played were just lighting that bastard up. But I've had Billy Wagner in Diamond Dynasty. I had both of his cards from the Mets and from the Astros. And every single time I've used him, pretty much, he has been just... Uh, yeah, man, he's been... Like, nobody can get, like... Nobody starts these crazy rallies and shit when Billy Wagner is in the game. Nobody's, can like, getting three or four or five a million hits in a row. Like, sometimes that shit goes down in certain innings. But when Billy Wagner is in... None of that weird stuff is happening. So, I'm able to avoid... Th this guy's not able to get around the board. So, Billy Wagner does his job pretty much. So, now Beltron is up. This is who you want at the plate. Have not even used the 99 Beltron in this game up until this BR, which I, did, I didn't even realize. So, 1-1 one, one count. I'm sitting on something. I was just waiting for something. I was waiting for my pitch. For some reason, this guy put in a... He put a righty back in, too, because he was facing a lefty when Beltron came to the plate. And I'm pretty sure this Beltron has better hitting stats versus righty. So this guy was taking a little bit of a gamble uh, putting the righty in. But with a 2-2 two -two count, he's getting me looking. I don't even know what I was doing right there. I was sitting on something off speed. And yeah, I was frozen right there for sure. So now James Loney is up looking to send one over that right field fence in Baltimore with James Loney. I think he has half... I think he might have half decent power two versus righties. I think his vision is very good. Like I was saying, this is a half decent uh, flashback gold. If you ask me, I mean, yeah, like I don't even remember when it was, but it was a a couple months ago at least. I was just looking at some cards, and for some reason, I just remember when I drafted James Loney. I was thinking back when I actually wanted to pick him up at one point in Diamond Dynasty, but I never did. But it doesn't even matter. He's going down right there. So now bottom of the third inning, the very scary bottom of the third inning in BR. I had a lefty coming to the plate to begin this inning, so I wasn't worried at all. Uh, get him to swing at some change-ups down in the strike zone. This guy was swinging at a lot of shit down in the dirt, so I was giving him a lot of stuff down out of the strike zone. But the high heat gets this guy. He's getting blown away with the high heat. So now he's putting a pinch hitter in for the pitcher, obviously. So yeah, I was feeding this guy some low change-ups. Billy Wagner is... He's always lights out, man. Like every, I always say a lot of pitchers are lights out in this game, but Billy Wagner may be one of the best relievers slash closing pitchers in this game. That would have been insane if I was able to make that grab. That was much closer than I expected, and I almost came down with that grab since I was playing the bunt defense right there. I'm able to get the second out of this inning on a K2. So I think that's like four, four Ks at least up until this point with Billy Wagner, may even be five. He's only pitched like just over two innings, I'm pretty sure. So this guy's last hope of this game comes down to a lefty as well. So a 1-1 one, one count, trying to go to the, the heater down in the strike zone, trying to get this guy fooled a little bit since I didn't really feed anybody low heaters in this game. He's able to get a base hit. So one swing of the bat can tie this game up. This would have been hilarious. If that were to happen, I would have been laughing my ass off if this guy was able to connect with one and tie this game up. That would have been so damn typical. But 0-2 count now. This guy, I got this guy in the palm of my damn hand. This guy was swinging at two ugly ones. Why not give him a third? Swings at another changeup in the dirt. Getting another W in this BR. Billy Wagner may be put in every single game. Don't even care if there's a lot of righties coming to the plate. He will most likely be in. He gets 5Ks through... Uh, two and a third. He gave up two hits. That's not too bad. He's, he was still pretty much lights out.